You're watching F5. We are at GovWare 2023 uh, here in Singapore. Uh, I've just arrived actually today from Dubai over at Jitex, but I wanted to make sure that I got out to GovWare this year. One of the main reasons why is because I wanted to see my friend Ian that I uh, met last year. Ian, how are you doing? Very well, Boo, and great to see you back in Singapore. I've been following you around the world, but I, you know, I, I didn't want to guess where you're going next because I kind of knew. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. There's a couple of insiders uh, on that one, um, but thanks for uh, thanks for checking out the vote. Actually, uh, now uh, this year, um, I made a little bit of a video that okay. said I'm going to be coming to GovWare. I don't know if you saw that. Uh, I did mention that this is my favorite conference shirt. Uh -huh. However, you guys are known for your conference shirts as well. Yep. Well, you know, we we do have a few, sometimes a little bit cheeky necklines that we put in there. Um, some of them have a bit of a local flavor. People in Singapore and the region will know it's like Singlish. That's why we call it a bit of a local slang. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Cool. So, so we have we have a few of them. Um, there's one that we have. Uh, okay. Should I show it now? Yeah. Let's uh, let's show the camera and let's go through these. Okay. So, but I got to say a little bit about AI first, because everybody else is talking about AI, right? It's very about, important to say that. Yeah. For, exactly. For SEO purposes. Well, and and that's the thing, right? Because um, people are saying, what's next for AI? There's been so many changes over the last year. Since your last year, remember? Yep. Who could have thought about what, you know, gen AI could do and, and all that nonsense. Yep. But, but, um, so now if, you, if someone would ask, what's the next 12 months going to bring? What's AI going to do? And what, what will cybersecurity evolve to, to, you know, kind of adapt to the new AI? Mm -hmm. And the answer is that nobody knows. Sure. Nobody can really, no, nobody will put a head on the line and say, well, this is definitively what's going to happen. Yeah. And guess what? I tried typing that into G, uh, chat GPT before I came here and they didn't know I either. So even AI doesn't know that. So that's kind of like the preamble because um, this t-shirt says, you know, if uh, the answer is, I don't know. Okay, this is English. So yeah. So it's AI don't know, but it's I don't know. So in, in local parlance, right? So if, if somebody were, you know, if, if, if you were to ask your kid, why did you get your homework done? The typical answer would be, I don't know. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> okay. okay. So it's something a, a little bit local, but uh, I thought, you know, people uh, who come here might, might uh, appreciate that. Uh, we got a bit of a crowd in front of us. I saw everybody laughing, so that one, that was a hit. Very okay. good, very good. Cool. All right, what else we got? Okay, um, we, we got a few other things. Uh, Anita, could I? This is uh, a very family-friendly version. Okay. Okay. Uh, just a play on insider threats, insider treat. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, something that you could give to uh, your kids, you know, um, when they go to school for outings. You know, yeah, kind of. Very nice, very nice. Okay, something you shouldn't give to your kids. I admit that um, I didn't think that my guys would actually get this printed, okay. but they did. Um, I think some of you are, will get a chuckle out of this, but I'll just say that this is a different interpretation of LLM. It will definitely get people thinking. Okay, so I was here last year. Uh, you guys had your uh, theme last year. Actually, let's go over what your theme is this year for the conference. I can't remember off the top of my head, so I'll let you. Okay, it's really about fostering uh, collaboration in the new digital reality. Mm -hmm. It's a mouthful, right? Sure. Um, but I think the really interesting thing about that and uh, in the theme for the, the week, in, in the whole of the week, uh, is that you don't see cybersecurity anywhere. It's not mentioned. Right, and and I and I think that really reflects the reality now, which is that cybersecurity is kind of like in the background. Everybody is talking about digital and about trust, uh, and that's the reality. And you know, the one thing that hasn't changed. If you talk to anybody, if, if you were talking to people about security 20 years ago, they'll tell you that the important things are people and collaboration. It hasn't changed. Uh, but in the in some of the very high-level discussions that we've had uh, yesterday, you know, uh, um, when we had senior officials from government from the UN speaking, it was really interesting. They were talking about things like what trust means, trust between governments. I mean, we all know what's happening in the world now, right? Uh, trust between governments, trust between governments and their people, 
trust between governments and technology companies. And somebody's got to connect all of that together. You know, and only with that, you can start to talk about people being able to, to really trust in the whole ecosystem. And that forms the basis for making a lot of things work because whatever you call tech, cybersecurity, tech, AI, at the end of the day, I mean, to, to us tech guys, it's, you know, it's what we live for. But it's just a means to an end. And what is that end? You know, really, it's, it's, yeah. it's just about a better outcome. It's about economic progress. It's about better healthcare, a better world, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, I think you've hit it spot on. Uh, I don't think it was this year, but I think it was, a, actually, I think it was this year. I had a chat with uh, Gail Khoury, who is our CISO at F5, and she had gone to the World Economic Forum, and that was a similar theme there in that uh, needing uh, private sector organizations to share uh, all the data that they have, data sets that they have, and, and coming up with a way to do that, trusting uh, the data that's coming up from somebody else. Uh, another conversation that I had yesterday with uh, one of our bot and risk, or our global head of bot and risk management, um, he was talking about AI and talking about AI in terms of uh, the cleanliness of the data that comes in. Um, great uh, as far as like having big data sets, but if you if the data set is dirty or mislabeled, then it's not going to do anything for you. So um, trust, share, make sure your data is clean as well. Uh, but you know, I think we're off to great solutions like what you guys are uh, dreaming of here uh, and facilitating here. So uh, that's pretty awesome. And I would assume that you're already seeing some of that happen on the show floor. Oh yeah, I mean, a absolutely. Everywhere you go, uh, people are having conversations at the level where, you know, the nuts and bolts are important, right? But they're talking about the, the bigger pieces of the conversation now. Um, this year, for the first time in the conference, we've gotten really senior people coming in, I mean, what people call C-suites, okay. uh, but not, at a, not just uh, at a tech leadership level, because in many cyber conferences, you get tech leaders talking, and we're, you know, the conversation revolves around board acceptance, you know, uh, uh, board understanding. But this year, we actually have people on the business end of the spectrum. And uh, they're they are coming from, you know, the other side of the of the coin. And they're saying, yeah. look, guys, going to meet me halfway. Sure. You know, uh, yeah. here I am. I, 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 I hear you. Yeah. And, and you're really important. But look at it from my point of view. And one of the interesting conversations we've had was, um, I mean, look, today, no, no cybersecurity or tech conference will ever tell you that cybersecurity is not important. It's a bot imperative. But the question is, how much of a bot imperative? Yeah. If you were uh, you know, the CEO or, 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 or the chairman of the board of um, uh, any major organization, you'll be asked, is geopolitics important? Yeah. Is sustainability important? Yep. Is climate change important? Yep. Is diversity important? And finally, well, if they're all important, so what does important mean? Right. So we, we I mean, the conversations at Gafware this year is revolving around around issues like that. And you know, I'm not saying that uh, we have the perfect answer all the time, but it's gotten a lot of people thinking and talking. And I, I know we're we're just very excited about that. Yeah. 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 That's cool to see. Uh, we've talked about the trust externally and the trust internally yeah. uh, that you guys are building here. So uh, that's really cool. Um, Love the shirts, love the conference this year. It looks as, uh, as amazing as it was uh, last year and then some. So you guys have done a fantastic job. Thank you for coming by the F5 booth as well. I know you have some friends here, so great for you to connect with them. Um, I look forward to enjoying the rest of my time here at GovWare. I look forward to the shirts as well. Uh, I think those will be uh, great to wear uh, uh, when I get back home as well. So thank you very much, Ian, for joining me today. Thank you on behalf of uh, myself, F5, Dev Central. Thank you to the viewers for watching. Check out the playlist that's going to have all of our GovWare content. And otherwise, we'll see you on the next one. Bye now. Thank you.